AI models are dropping so fast that most creators are overwhelmed. So in this video, we are looking at Flux 2, a generator and editor in one model. I tested it using GGUF on a low-end GPU so anyone can follow. Then we'll demonstrate how to edit and combine three shots into one coherent scene. So to begin, let's download the required models for the workflow. Visit the Hugging Face page here to download the GGUF models for Flux 2. On here, depending on your GPU, download the model size that fits your VRAM. I'm using a 3060, so I'll download the Q4 model. Click here to download, then save it into your directory. Go to Models, select Unit Folder. I have created a group here for Flux 2, and I have my Q4 version saved here, as you guys can see. Next, visit the page here for the text encoder model. I will download the FP8 model here since I'm using a lower VRAM. Click here once again to download, then in your directory, save it under models, go to text encoders. I have it right here once again, as you guys can see. After that, we need the VAE model for Flux 2. So on the page here, download the model provided here, then save it once again under your models, go to VAE folder, I have it saved here. Once you have all the models downloaded, let's go to the Comfy UI directory, find the update folder, then run the update underscore Comfy UI file we have here. Be careful to run this file and not the other files. So this is necessary to get the latest native nodes for Flux 2. Now, after running your updates, let's go back and open Comfy UI. Inside Comfy UI, for this workflow, I'll be using a few custom nodes which I already have installed. This will be Comfy UI GGUF and the Use Everywhere custom node. So click to install if you don't have these, then restart Comfy UI. Alright, now let's build a workflow together from scratch. Since we are using GGUF models, right click to add a node, find bootleg, select unit loader GGUF. Click here to select the Flux 2 model you have just downloaded. Mine is the GGUF Q4 version. Next, double click and type load clip. Select the native node here, then Click to choose the model. We will be using Mistral 3 underscore small as the clip model we have downloaded. Now change the type and make sure you have updated your Comfy UI to see Flux 2. After that, double click once again, search load VAE. Select the native node here. This node will help us to locate the VAE model we have downloaded. Click here from your list, select Flux 2 VAE. So these are the three main nodes to load our models. Let's connect these moving forward. I will move to the unit loader GGUF up here. Then click on the node, select set node. I'm using this node to automate the connection later. Then click on constant, name this as model. Next, drag out the load clip node down to select clip text and code. Let's change the color to green as our positive prompt. And since we are using flags, we do not need a negative prompt. So move to the VAE from here. To connect this, I'll use the custom node as I always do, anything, everywhere. This is another custom node to help us automate the workflow. After we have all the connections, double click on the canvas, then type flux guidance this node will control how the text prompt guides the conditioning process and we can adjust the range here so let's set this to four now match the positive conditioning from here i'll highlight to select all the nodes i'll place them into a group double click on the group name then let's change this to load models all of this is simple to follow isn't it moving forward let's create the sampling workflow to process all the loaded models so using flux 2 we will use the sampler custom advanced node this is similar to using the k sampler node however this performs advanced latest sampling through a guided process with custom noise and sigma schedules so let's get the input slot here for this node drag out the noise then select random noise 
I'll set the number here to something simple. Let's go for 80, then change this to fixed. I'll move this below. Next, drag out guider, select basic guider. Let's resize this. We can see we have two input slots here. So to get the model, right click on the node, select get node. And since we have already set the automation earlier, click here select model after i'll zoom out briefly then drag the flags guidance node into the conditioning next is the sampler slot hold and drag it out select k sampler select i'll leave Eurola here for the sampling process after that double click on the canvas then search flags to scheduler to find this new node make sure that once again you have updated comfy ui i'll keep the steps here at 20 and everything else at default next we see is a latent image which is usually the resolution size so double click and search flags to latent select the node here i'll move this down then link this into the latent input slot. We can notice these two new nodes for Flux 2 and they both have settings for the images width and height. So let's make this simple so we can control both resolutions at the same time. Hold Alt to duplicate the node below, rename the first primitive as width, then rename the second to height. Let's set the value to 1024 as the width and then 1024 as the height as well. I'll change both from random to be fixed. Now we can link the width and height to the flux to latent node and also join the same to the flux to scheduler to control both at the same time. Moving on, we are almost ready to test the model. Drag out the output from here, down, then select VAE decode. Now drag out VAE decode down to select save image. I will make the save node a lot bigger to view our results. Then I'll zoom out from here. Let's highlight all of these nodes once again, then create our second group. I'll double click on the name. Then let's rename this to sampling. I hope this is all simple to understand. We can notice this is similar to other Flux workflows. So let's test the model and workflow if we have everything working correctly using the Flux 2 model. I'll zoom onto the prompt node. I already have a prompt I want to use. So let's go ahead and I'll paste this here. Then zooming out from here, I'll go up and hit run. I'll skip to the results. All right, we have the image here, male knight in a blooming forest. This turned out quite well. There is a little lack of detailing in my view. However, this is still impressive as a two-in-one model. So let's see how we can use the same model for editing two or more images. We keep the same workflow and I'll pan up onto the canvas. Right click to add a node. Let's go to image, find load image. Let's make this bigger and I'll drag and drop the image I have into the load image node. Next, double click on the canvas search image scale with no space select the node here image scale to total pixels this node will resize any image upload while maintaining the aspect ratio and i'll change the upscale method here to area next drag out image go down select vae and code the vae we can see here is auto connected since we are using the everywhere node and this node will convert the image into an invisible form or latent representation we double click next then search reference latent this node will guide the invisible representation for editing or conditioning and i'll arrange the nodes here lower like so now let's highlight all the nodes then place them into a group rename this group once again we change this to load image one I'll zoom out from here. We have an additional group as we can see. So how do we merge this? This is simple. Disconnect the conditioning from flux guidance. Send this into conditioning. Then the conditioning output feeds into the basic guider. Easy, right? However, since we want to use two additional images for editing, how do we create this? We highlight the notes here for load image one. Control C to copy. Then we can paste this to the right. Control V. I'll drag my second image into the load image node. Next, 
we place this into a group and we rename this as load image 2. If you want to add more images to edit, simply repeat the process. Then drag your third image in here. I will also place this into a group, then change the name here to load image 3. So to connect all these additional groups, we use the same process by disconnecting the conditioning from image 1 group. We feed it into the second group conditioning. From the second group, we feed it into the third group conditioning. From here, the third group conditioning goes into the basic guider. I'll zoom out to see the entire workflow so far and this looks clean and simple, right? So let's test all of this. I want to replace the two bikers with the ninth from image two and the monkey from image three. So let's instruct the model to do that and see what happens. In the positive prompt, you must be very specific on what you enter here to avoid receiving inconsistent results earlier like I did. So this is my prompt. Place the character in image two as the ninth riding the motorcycle on the left in image one and place the character in image three as the monkey riding the motorcycle on the right in image one. Now we zoom out from here and I'll hit run so we witness what happens using Flux 2 as an edit model. Once again, I'll skip to the results since I'm recording and rendering at the same time. So we have the final result here, quite impressive. The model's ability is very good. However, I realize you must be very precise in your prompting and it does not feel as sharp for my liking. So you can try a higher model of the GGUF version if you have higher resources, the main model or the FP8 version. Alternatively, you can check out my previous video to restore more details using Seed VR. For the final workflow, I have included the node here from RG3. You can bypass the node group here to just generate an image or turn it back on to edit multiple images depending on your purpose. I'll have the link in the description. So I hope you guys are inspired to what is possible to come up with your own ideas. I have tested the workflow for various results and concepts so there's more the Flux2 model can achieve. If you got some value from this lesson, don't forget to leave a like as always. A warm welcome to the new channel members and resource creators. Thank you for your support and you can check out this video next to improve your image details and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.